Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday morning, wherever you are across the globe. I pray that you off to a great start on this beautiful Thursday morning. Amen. Amen. As always, I just want to sow a seed of wisdom, a word of encouragement into your good soil. Amen. Amen. We are all very familiar with the passage of scripture that comes from Psalms chapter one, verses one through three. And I'm going to read that into your hearing this morning because that will be the biblical principle the biblical standard, amen, somebody, glory, hallelujah, that we will be standing upon on this morning. And I'll be reading from the NIV and it reads, blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked or stands in the way of sinners or sit in the seat of markers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on his law, he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by the streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and whose leaves does not wither. My God, thank you, Jesus. And whatsoever, whatsoever he does it prospers. My God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you for the reading of your word on today, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, in advance, Lord God, for the added blessing, Lord God, wisdom and revelation with understanding that will be birthed and come from, come from it, Lord God. So we thank you this day, Lord God, for this declaration, Lord God, this seed of faith that's been released and spoken into the atmosphere and to the hearing of your sons and your daughters. And whatever it is that it's supposed to yield on the other end of this one today, Lord God, I call it done and I receive it as such by faith. Amen, 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 and thank you, God. Y'all, listen, whatever you do in anything that you do, please make sure that you are partnering with God, not just in the big things, but even the, the smallest of things. We are all familiar with the, the cliche that we are to um, never major in the minor things, I come to tell you on today that God majored in the minor things. There's no such thing as little sin. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? In the eyes of God is, is right and, and there's wrong. There's a God way and a man way. And in God's way, his plan, that's going to be the plan that will always prevail. That's his word. That is his word. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. So I want to walk through a few things um, in this passage of scripture, and then I'm going to let you go and be out your way. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Let's look at this first part. He says, blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked. In other words, what he's saying to you and I is we don't conduct our affairs, our, our, our affairs after the uh, patterns of this world, how we negotiate contracts, how we interact with people. We, in the kingdom, we think more highly of others than we do ourselves. It's, it's not a me, mine, I mentality in the kingdom. It's a we mentality. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. So this text is saying, blessed is the man who does not walk, conduct their affairs on every level, personal, professional, social, economical, every level. We do not conduct our affairs after the patterns or the example of this world. Amen. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Nor do we stand in the way of sinners. In other words, conforming to the patterns of this world. Oh, everybody doing it. Oh, it ain't that bad. Well, I'm not doing that. We see that speck in other people's eye but we, we don't see that log in ours. No, 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 no. We're not going to conform to the patterns of this world. We're going to be ye renewed where? In our minds, because you and I have been given the mind of Christ. There is no such thing as a little sin. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. And it says, nor do we sit in the seat of markers. We don't gossip. We don't backbite. We don't backstab. We, we, we don't, you know, get off or, or get any enjoyment by, you know, criticizing somebody else. We, 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 don't, um, we don't try to put a stumbling block in, in front of somebody else. We're not upset or angry or immerse ourselves in a spirit of jealousy just because somebody else is advancing or growing or walking in breakthrough or increase, whatever the case may be, not in the kingdom of God. We celebrate all of those things. 
We celebrate all of those things because we know that our father is no respecter of person. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. So when we speak, because we understand the power and the authority that rests within our mouth, we understand the power and the authority that we, we exercise when we release our words, we learn not to be wasteful with them, nor wicked. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. It is always for the building and edification of God's people. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. It's always to bring a word of encouragement or word of light uh, to God's people. Amen. And then he says, but I love that, but I love that. But he says that he will delight himself in the law of the Lord. That means the ways of the Lord. We begin to think as God thinks. We begin to think on those things that are above and not beneath. Those things that are true and noble. Those things. Glory, hallelujah, for his ways are not our ways. Glory, hallelujah, somebody. Glory, hallelujah, Lord. We thank you on this morning for your word, for your promises, Lord God. And it says, and on that law, the word of God, we meditate day and night. We're in constant pursuit after God. We're seeking God. We're knocking at that door. We're asking. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. We, we, we are, are trying to, 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 to walk upright. We're pursuing holiness. We're pursuing godliness. We're pursuing righteousness to be in right standing. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. We don't just want to be mere hearers of the word, but doers of the word. Yeah, when it's put to the test, when we got to love our enemies and pray for those that wrongfully and despitefully use us. Yeah, all of that right there. All of that right there. You got to understand that the Christ in you and I are, is measured by the hate that you and I can love through. Is it true and authentic? Is it transparent? Is it evident? Eh, glory, hallelujah. God, I thank you. I thank you for dwelling within me. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. It says that that person, that man, that woman, you, uh-huh. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Will be like a tree planted by the streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and out of season. It does not matter what is going on around you. You will always produce. You will always be effective. You will always be influential. You will always be impactful. Glory. Hallelujah. Whatever you do, it will prosper. When we learn to be, um, be in it at the feet of Jesus and total surrender to what it is that dad is trying to do and fulfill. When you and I learn to work as a partner with God, because he is always a man part and a God part and God's part is a sure thing. God's part is finished. God will never renege on his part. The question is, do you and I? Amen. Amen. So on this Be Ye Transformed Thursday, remember Psalms 1 verses 1 through 3. And I want you to, whatever you do in anything that you do, all that you do, make sure that you are doing it as a partner with Christ. Make sure that Christ is leading you. That whatsoever you do, when you're connected to that vine, when, when you realize and recognize that he desires, he's called you, he set you apart. Amen. Even all of the things that he's allowed you to do, grace you to go through. Amen. Oh my God, glory, hallelujah. You are that tree planted by the streams of water. He's that stream of water, amen. Glory, hallelujah. So I love you guys. I pray that that blesses someone. I pray that it encourages another. I pray that it brings a right perspective to many, amen. Glory, hallelujah. You guys be blessed in this day. And as always, whatever you do, do it in faith and on purpose. As unto who? As unto the Lord. I love you guys. Until next time, be blessed.